Okay, now we've uh, set up our thermostat and we're going to log into the thermostat for the first time. We're going to go over setting up uh, the different program modes and ways to control the thermostat. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open a new browser. And after we open the browser, we go ahead and enter the web address, which is www.radiothermostat. dot com forward slash filtery that's www.radiothermostat.com forward slash filtery hit enter takes us to the home screen and since we've already registered it we're going to go and click on the login and when we talked uh, earlier about the registration we talked about our email address and our password, which I said you should uh, write down. So the email address, once we click on that, we're going to put in first. Okay, then we're going to go down here and click on the password and enter it. After we have our email and our password that we use, we go ahead to the login. Okay, now it brings up our uh, main screen here, and if you notice, I named this thermostat Main Hall. We'll show you how you can do that in just a minute. The reason I named it Main Hall is because I have multiple thermostats in my house, and this helps me identify which one it is and where it's at. And what we can do is we can look down here. Right now, we have the thermostat set up in auto, and auto basically means that when it requires heat, it turns on the heat, and it will auto switch over to cool when it requires cool. And that's why we don't have a target temperature, because it does both heat and cool, and there may be different target temperatures for those. Uh, right now, the room temperature is 71.5 degrees. And if you see there's a date and the time, remember we set up a time zone, and that's why we set up the time zone, so that it sent our thermostat the proper date and time for our time zone. So you don't have to worry about uh, setting that up. Now what we can do is we can go over here and we can go into mode. And right now we're in auto, but let me go over all the different modes. The first one is going to be cool that we'll go into. So we're going to close this. And if you noticed, we didn't have a target temperature before. But now that we're in cool, we now have a target temperature. Target temperature is 85 degrees. Now we can change that target temperature with either the plus to move it up or the minus to move it down. So let's move it down just a little bit. Okay, I just changed it to 69 degrees. And we're at 71.5, so in cool, this will activate our cooling system. Now we can also go over and we can go over to the mode again and rather than cool, we can go into heat. Now in heat, our target temperature is 62 and it says heat. And just like before, if I want to change the temperature, I simply use the plus or minus key depending if I want to go up or down. And let's set it at 75 degrees. And that, in heat, would obviously activate because this is our room temperature and this is our target temperature. And let's go back to mode one more time. If for some reason we wanted to turn the system off where we didn't want it coming on for heat or cool or for auto, all we do is click off. If we go back and look at the main screen now, it says off. Even though there's a target temperature, the system is not going to turn on because it's in the off mode. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back over to heat, and we'll talk about our next icon here, which is the fan icon. The fan has two different settings. The first setting, which it will be in most of the time, is auto. Auto basically means that whenever your heat or your cool is calling for heat or cool, that it will turn the fan on accordingly. Now we have another one over here, which is fan on. If we click on that, 
that basically is used to circulate the air in the house. So this turns the fan on. The fan will run all the time now, not just when we're calling for heat or cool. And that's good to use uh, in the uh, summertime or in the wintertime either way if you just want to circulate the air in the house. Most of the time, I recommend leaving it on auto. Those are the basic screens of the thermostat. Now, we do have a hold, which means if we don't want to run the program, which we'll get to in just a little bit, we can set for hold. And hold will hold this temperature, which is our target temperature, whatever we set it to, indefinitely. That means that if the program says, oh, I want to change it, the hold overrides it. This is now a manual thermostat. Anytime you wish to change the temperature, just use the up or down arrow keys, and it will stay at that target temperature. Let's say you were homesick, and you didn't want to follow the, uh, the temperature change during the day, where it maybe lowered the temperature in the winter or raised it in the summer. You want to set it yourself, or maybe you have guests over, or something like that. You click it again, it takes the hold to off, and now it will resort to running the program again. Up top here, we have uh, four different bars. And let's hit the first one, which is Manage Devices. And you see it brings us another screen. It says that the device that we're managing over here, and we can have multiple devices, is the main hall. If you remember, we called it the main hall so we can know where it was and how to identify it easily. You can call it anything you want. It shows that the current temperature is 71.5 degrees. We're in heat mode. The fan is on auto. Our target's 62. And the model's a CT50. So you can see all the information we saw on the screen is right here. Now we can control it just by simply clicking control. It takes us back to that screen. Let's go back to here. And remember I talked about uh, some settings that we could go into. Okay, the friendly name, or how I named it Main Hall, is just simply by taking and editing this line, and I could call it whatever I want. I could call it upstairs thermostat, downstairs, uh, bedroom, uh, wherever it's located is usually the best thing to do because everybody can associate that with the thermostat. Now, if you have a summer house, or a cabin or something like that, that this thermostat isn't at your main residence, you might want to put a street in and the city and the state and everything so you know where the address is, where the thermostat is located, so we can provide local information about that. And it shows that when we're away, we have the heat set for 62 and the away cool is 85. This is something I'll go back in just a second and show you how to change that uh, so that when you leave or you can set it through your computer, you can take and set an away button, which is like an energy save feature. And it will resort to these temperatures while you're away. You can also click right here, and you can receive email alerts. And it will go back to your email address that you set up earlier. And the email alerts will basically uh, detect if the thermostat has gone offline or if you have severe conditions. Again, here's your time zone. Remember, we just talked about that a minute ago. The time zone helps us set up the clock and give you other information. And then when you're all done changing this, you can simply do an update of the settings. And we'll go ahead and close this. And we're all set, so we're going to go to Edit Program. And here's our program. Now, we have different programs that we can set for heat and for cool. Let's go back and just use the heat program. We have two ways we can do this. We can go through a program wizard, and the program wizard will basically ask you a lot of different questions and allow you to set it up depending on how you answer those questions. So it's basically a step-by-step -step easy guide to set it up for the non-advanced users. If you are an advanced user, though, you can write your program out like this, and maybe um, you want to change your Sunday program because you're getting up for church or something a little bit or, uh, earlier than normal. So you can go to edit, and it'll edit just that line. And you can say, I can change the time, the temperature of any of the four time periods. Once you've changed that, let's say that we're going to get up uh, rather than 6 a.m. I'll just click here. I'm going to hit 530. 
So that will be 5.30 a.m. rather than 6. I'm going to update. If you notice now, our morning on all the others was 6 a.m., but I've changed it for Sunday to be 5.30 a.m. Likewise, I could change any of the other time periods or the temperatures associated with those time periods. I could actually even add another program and call it maybe holiday uh, or special day or anything that I want to call it. And it doesn't just have to be default heat, default cool. Okay, now we're going to go back here. And I wanted to show you something before we talked about the house. And when I talked about the away temperatures when we were here. Let's go take a quick look at that. And I went to settings. And here we have an away heat and away cool temperature. Okay. We're going to close this. And we're going to go to control. And here is the house. This is our home, which runs our normal programs. When I click on the house, it sets me as a little airplane, but it's, it's basically away. At that point, it runs the away temperatures because I'm not at home. And to simply take it back to the house again, I click it again, and now it resorts to running the program again. The forums, the forums are extremely useful. And what this is, is, this is a space where users can log in and ask questions about the thermostat or controlling the thermostat or anything they really want to that it pertains to this device. And if you just have a little extra time, you can, uh, before you enter your question, you might want to look through and see what other users have already asked because maybe they've already asked your question and it's been answered so you can get it taken care of right away. Or maybe there's something that they've asked or they've done that you haven't thought of that will make your using the thermostat easier. And then we can go right back here. And then the last one is logging out. All you need to do is go ahead and log out. And this takes you back to our home page, which logs you out of your account. And if you're all done, all you need to do is go ahead and close your browser window. Um, you can also go and uh, view our other products, go back to the login, or go to our help center.